Good evening, everybody. Hello. Okay. I was telling them that I have to ask forgiveness. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay, Ernie. Okay. I'm I'm still covering at the VA and I had a lot of patients to cover. Wow. Okay. Well, we have a one short... of these evenings I look forward to getting together which we can compare notes, Ernie. <laughs> okay, we should go out this week. I'll, we'll talk. Maybe we'll go out to dinner this week. Okay. We'll we'll talk later. You got it. So We're on Yud Aleph, 11. Okay. So, we are dealing with the question of when, when, a, when, for example, you throw a get into a woman's courtyard. It says you have to put the get into her hand. The din is if you put it in her courtyard that she owns, she's divorced. Her courtyard is like her hand. So we've been dealing with the question is, uh, is a, when you your courtyard can also acquire things on your behalf. So just like you lift something and you acquire it, if something places, if someone places some something in your in your courtyard and you say, I want my courtyard to be Kona it for me, it's Kona it. It's Kona. You acquire. The question is, what's the mechanism of that? Does it work like a get, like the hand of a person? Or is like it's like you appointed a shaliach to receive something on your behalf? So is the chutzr a shaliach or an extension of your hand? That's what we've been dealing with. So keep pligilin in mitzia. When you find a lost object and you want your field to your, your property to acquire it. So Mars Savar Yalfina Mitsia Miget. That just like the chutz of a katana can acquire a get, you could say the same thing by her chutz. Umar sabi yolofim it's me get. Listen, get. You're talking about a married woman, which is prohibited for other men besides her husband to live with her. You give her a get. Now she's free to live with other men. So this is a question of isr veheter, like eating a, something non-kosher or doing something that's prohibited. It's not mamoin. It's not monetary issue. And mamoin from isura, we don't learn. That's one way to learn. Iboy say ma, that biktana, when it comes to a question of a, of a minor girl, now remember, a father can accept kiddushin on behalf of his minor girl, and that girl is married min Torah. It's not like when the mother or brothers marry off a girl under 12, we, we've learned that kiddushin is only Rabbana. That doesn't require get. She could do miyun. She can refuse to stay married, and she walks away. But when a father accepts kesa kiddushin, she needs to get min Torah. And the chotzer, you can place the get of a katana into a chotzer. And when it comes to a katana, you would learn it's a get. But rather, we're talking about now with a katana, a cotton, a, a boy under 13. Just like it works by katana, it works by cotton too. What do you mean a cotton doesn't get married? Cotton doesn't need to get. It's, 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 it's a completely different thing. V boy same, there's no machlokas at all. Mar Amarchada, Umar Amarchada Balopligi. Each said their din regarding there's a chutzr by get, and the other said there's a chutzr by mitzia, and they have nothing to do with each other. Mishnah. Ra oison. A person who owns a field sees other people running after, let's say, a deer or a rabbit that's running through his field. A 
Achar Tzvi Shavar, like a deer with a broken leg. Or Gozoilas, Shalom Porach, or birds that don't know how to fly yet. They're just hopping. So both cases, you can capture them easy. If the owner of the field sees this, and he says, Zohsali Sodi, I want my field to acquire these items before the person running after him can get at, at him. Zachsolo. It it works and he acquires it, even though there's somebody else running after it. You know why? Because these are like stationary items. They're gonna they they cannot run easily. But for example, Am I at Tzvi Ratz Kedarko? If the deer was running like a normal deer, or Shayu Gozos Mafrikh, they were flying a little bit. And he says, Let my field be coined. His field cannot acquire something which is not going to remain there. If the thing is going to just run through his field, then by him just saying, let my field acquire it, it doesn't work. When can the owner of a field acquire it with his field? He's got to be there. He can't be in his office downtown and he hears about it. No, he's got to be present right near the field. Because he's watching it. And he can be mishtamir over the item that's running through the field. Maybe it should acquire without him saying zachsali sadi. Maybe the field should acquire it memela. Because Amra Yezik Rabchanin Chatzeres Shal Adam Kornel Shalomi Daito. A person's chutzr can acquire something for him, even if he doesn't know about it. You know what? For example, you're, this like a playground that's fenced in by fencing. So by nature, whatever is in there is going to be protected, whether he knows about it, whether he doesn't know about it. But an open chutzr, he omeres b'tzad sadeu in, he lo lo. If he's there, he sees what's going on and he can watch it, it'll acquire. But if he's not, it does not acquire for him. And where do you learn that an unguarded chutzr, he omeres b'tzad sadeu in, he lo lo? That if he's there, it acquires. If it's not, it doesn't. The time, the fine price. Haya oimed beir. The owner of the field is in the city. He had workers who were who was harvesting his field, and he's not there, but he says, "I know that the workers who are harvesting forgot some of these stocks." But I remember where they are. Velo yeshikha. Now, normally, when you're going through a field and harvesting, anything that's forgotten belongs to the Aniyim. So, yachol I would think it wouldn't be shikha. Because he knows where it is. So the Pasuk says, So if you forgot it in the Sada, but the lobby ear, but not when you're in the city. So the Gemara says, Agufa Kasha. 
there's something internally contradictory here. Amrit, you started off by saying, Yach lo You wanted to say, maybe it wouldn't be shikha. I'll not be shikha. But then you would have said, you might have thought it's not shikha because the Gemara is pointing to the fact that it remains shikha. And then you bring me v'nosiv la talmuda basodav shachach to v'lo be'ir am the lobby shikha, and then you end up by saying it's not shikha. Ela lav hachi kober. This is I have to read it. Basodav shachuach me ikaro havi shikha. When something is as they're harvesting is forgotten and is left, that's shikha. If zochur, they saw it, but ulvasof shachuach ain't shikha. It has no din shikha. My time, the kivin the koi gabla, he's there. Avalei chatzer of his oxalei. He's standing right there. It's like his chatzer. His chatzer is coined for him. The one that he remembered. Aval ba'ir. But if he's not on the side of the field, he's in the city. Afilu zochur. Even if he knew at one point where it was. Then he forgot. It's havi shikha. It will have a din of shikh. My time. The lesser kafe, the lizkhile. He's not there at the side of the field for his field to acquire it on his behalf. Now, Mimai, how do you know this? Dil Mogzer Sakosavu. Maybe it's just based on the Torah. The Besari Nevi Shikh. Over here, Lo Nevi Shikh. Only when you're in the field is it shikha, not when you're not there. And not as I do with kinyonim of whether the field can acquire it with you there. No, Omer Kra, lo tashuv lekachto. Don't go back to take it. Lerabo is shikha sayir. That if you forgot it, even if you're in the city, it was called, it's still called shikha. And the difference between whether you're there or not is, is it's not the difference between an ear and a sode, it's whether or not the Kenyan will work. If you're there, the Kenyan will work. If not, no. The Gemara rejects that. That pasuk is needed for something else. That if you are harvesting and you forgot some of the sheaves on the field and you're supposed to leave it for the anim, and then you yourself take it, you're over a lav. To include that, even if you forget it when you're in the city, it's got the din of shikha. Still, you need lo soshu lechadisnan for a different halach. As you're harvesting, shalafonov. Any stocks that are in front of you. So then, ain shikha. If even later on you forgot it, it's not it's not shikha. It's not doesn't belong to the enemy. Shila achra. But if the stocks are behind you, then yesh bo shikha. Because of this bal toshu, bal toshu means go behind, go back. If it's in the parsha of bal toshu, then shikha. Kol she'en bal toshu. So on Ravashi, Amr Kra Yiya, the Rabbi Sheikh Sa'ir. The din is that something is not Sheikh unless the owner of the field forgets it and the workers. And if the owner of the field was in the field and he knows that the workers forgot it, but he but he knows about it, ain't it shikha. But in my abala by its by ear, even if he says that, it is a din of shikha. Like the Gemara. The Chenomer Ula, in the way Ula explained our Mishnah, when can you say Zachsali Sodi? I want my Sodi. 
to be coined as something for me that's in the field? That's only Shuhu Shoim Evitzat Sadeu. He's got to physically be there. Now, famous story. My Sabran Gamliel Zakanim, Jayubayim Bisfina, Ragamliel and the other Zakanim were coming by boat. Amra Gamliel. Isr Sha'ani Osid Lamud. I'm going to need to give my in the future on the produce on my field. Nasun Leoshua, who was a levy. I'm allowed to give my to a levy. Umakomo muskerlo. Now, are you going to give it? Where the miser is, I'm he, I'm going to rent him that land. When Rav Yeshua pays me the money for the rent, he can acquire the miser that's on the land. Normally, metaltalin, you can only acquire if you pick it up, right? Agba Mashiach. But you can acquire it through something called an agav kinyan, agav karka. If I buy land and there's metopolin on the land and I buy the land, I can acquire those things that are on the land. Same thing that's going on here. The miser's on a piece of land. He's going to rent the land to Rabbi Yoshua. Rabbi Yoshua will acquire the miser through this agav kinyan regarding karka. Then Isr Acher Sha'ani Asid Lamud. There's a second Miser called Miser Ami in the third and the sixth year of the Shemitah cycle. Nason Lakiva Ben Yosef. Kedeshi He was like the, the treasurer for the Tzadikim. And he will acquire the Miser Ami for the Ani. And similarly, Umakoba Muskerlo. He'll Acquire it through the same mechanism of rental of the land that the grain is on. We started off the sugi by saying that your field can only acquire something for you if you're standing on the side of the field. But Rabbi Yeshua and Rabbi Kiva were on the boat with Rabbi Gamliel. They weren't, or, or they were somewhere else, but they were not at the side of the field of Rav Gamliel. So it looks like a person can acquire something in his field even when he's not there. Armele, so Ula said, Domi Haim Rabbonan, Lo Gamri In Shish I don't think they learned the sugi well in yeshiva. But Kiyosa Masura, this is what Ula said, and this is how you have what I asked. Rabbi Gamliel was trying to give have the Kenyan for the Metatlin as this Agav Kenyan with the Karka. Not the way we were saying before that I'm going to want my field to acquire it. It's a Kenyan issue. There's metadana, I'm acquiring the karka through a certain Kenyan. Whatever metadana are on there is acquired as an agav Kenyan, but not that I'm using the chotzer, like we said before, somebody owns a, a chotzer and I can use my sada to acquire it. Not be din chotzer, it's mikoch Kenyan aga. Through the Kenyan that he applied on the karka, he acquired the Gmetatlin as well. But it has nothing to do with whether a field can be koina or how a field is koina. Now, Reb Zeyra Kibla, this explanation, Reb Zeyra accepted. Rav Abba lo Kibla. Rav Abba didn't accept this. Amar Rav Shapir Avi Deloy Kibla. Rav Abba was correct that he didn't accept that terrace. Because why did Rav Gamliel have to go through this complicated process? We have a, a, when we go to sell our 
chametz to our rabbi before Pesach. So what happens? He gives us a pen. Like we, we, we sign a document. We say, I want you to acquire my chametz on behalf of this goy. And he gives you a pen to hold. Well, what's this pen? That's a fictional Kenyan called a Kenyan, or he gives you a handkerchief to hold. That's a Kenyan Chalipin. So why didn't Rabbi Gamliel take his turban off? Let them hold on to the turban, and they do this fictional Kenyan to be coin of the miser to them, and not to do this Agav Karka Kenyan. Do it by Kenyan Chalipin. Ella. You know why he couldn't use Kin Chalipin? Ki in a mummer. Now, Meister, I can give to any lady I want. The Meister doesn't really belong to Ragamliel. What value he has is he can designate to which lady he gives it to. And somebody, somebody might pay him something to give it to a, a lady. But the Meister itself does, is not really an asset of Rabbi Gamliel. He has to give it to them. He only has the toivus ano. The toivus ano ain't a mammon. Lik nos mi menu bechalipin. Toivus ano is not real money that you can do a kinyan with kinyan chalipin. So how can I? Toivus ano ain't a mammon. Lik nos agabi karka. If you're gonna say that. Really, the Meister is not an asset, and it's Torah Sano. How could he do that Agab Kenyan when he acquired the Karka and he acquired the Metatlan as an Agab? Just like he couldn't do it by Kenyan Khalib, and he couldn't do it as an Agab Kenyan. Must be that he gave them the Chotzer for them to have the Chotzer acquire it. So we are dealing with the Dinim of Kenyan of Chotzer. However, the Gemara says, Lohi. This explanation is not correct of Rav. That he tried to say that things that you give to a coin or a levy are not their personal asset. Because he's got to give it anyways. The Torah uses the word Nesina, which is a gift. It's like a memkar mem. It's like a sale. It's not just toy v'sano. And therefore, Khalip and Derek Mekachumem Karu. And Khalipin will work when you're buying or selling something. So it won't work by my sir, because it's Matos Kahuna that's written there, Nasina, but Mikra Din is no Nasina. But Miltat Lagab Mekarkin Nasina Alim Sahi. The making a Kenyan regarding Metatlin Agavakarka, that is strengthening the Kenyan. And that's why he used that. Rav Papa Omar, that you could learn that Rabbi Gamliel gave it to them, Betoras Chotzer. Das Acheres Makna Oisan Shiny. Right? It's different than a guy who owns a field, is standing by his field. And he wants to acquire something that's in his field. Here, there's a Dasa Harris involved. There's a third party. Without the Das Machna knowing. Umina Tamra, how do you know that there's a difference? It's not. Ra also Rotsimakar Metsia from our mission. Person sees somebody running. After a deer in his field. Rav Yirman Rav Yechdon, Bushar Ratzach Renu Magio. The Bala Soda cannot acquire it if the guy chasing after it can reach it. Then he acquires it. Uboy Ram Yirmia, Bimatona Heich. What if? What if this wasn't a mitzia? But there's a gift being given. The kiblu mine. Ravabar bar kahana. That avopi sharatzachreya ain magia. 
that even if he can reach this deer and catch him, he cannot be acquired. My taima. Lab mishum das makna also shiny. Because it's not him acquiring, it's being makna to him. Honor of Shimil Rav Popo. Hare get. The das acheres makna also. You have another das, you have the husband who's trying to give it to the wife, but still, Amr Ula, that if the husband throws the get into the chutz of the wife, it's only, she's only a divorced woman, is who kishamda betzad beso betzad chatzir, she has to be there. So, shiny get. The issue about korcha, get is different because you give a woman a get against her will. You don't need her das. But Rav Sheshes, Bravidi, Velav Kavachomer, who? But why don't we use a Kavachomer? Uma get the isse where you can give it even against her will. It's still considered a giving, even without her rotsa. And we still say it only acquires it for her. If she's not there, it doesn't acquire. A person's not going to accept a gift unless he accepts it. That both parties have to be a different parent. The din is if a husband throws a get to a chutzner of a woman, if he's if she's there, and it's a mishdameres, it's a get. If she's not, it's not a get. If you try to give a matana to somebody who's let's walking through your field, if he can't reach the item. It's still his. But after, but he, he doesn't have any any balos on the chaser. No, the 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 ball, the ball has saw that acquires it and gives it to him. I understand, but how does how does he give it to the other but guy? If the if the, uh, if the, if the, the other, other guy, guy doesn't pick it up, if the other guy can't reach the deer, right? Then the so field he, doesn't acquire it for him, even trying to gift it to him. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Complicated Gamora. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Tomorrow, seven thirty. Okay. Okay. Bye, Ernie. Bye, everybody. Bye, Chikoa. Buenas noches, Don Mario. Buenas noches, Jorge.